Hey guys, Mark with Precision Computing. You should know who it is by now. I know you guys have been following the channel for a while. I'm shooting this video in 4K, for, so for those of you that can take advantage of it, make sure to up that uh, little setting in your, you would be the bottom left over here. Also, when you're out there at the setting, hit subscribe if you haven't yet. We're gonna be bringing you guys some really cool stuff over the next few months. And uh, we just wanna share tech with you guys. That's what we're trying to do here, so. What I have for you guys today is something really cool. Um, this black felt bag. Um, I've seen these bags. Uh, I believe Corsair used to put their power supplies, maybe they still do, in these bags. But we're not looking at a Corsair power supply today. No. We're looking at something from Swift Tech. And this one. Just like it did mine, I've already taken it out of the bag. I haven't gone much deeper than that. But just like it did my senses, it's gonna to appeal to your senses. Uh, it's There's not many things recently with tech that have blown me away. And this, my friends, has blown me away. This is the Swift Tech SKF Water Block Heirloom Series. And um, they're gonna have their SKF water block that's gonna be customizable for you guys to purchase. They're also gonna have just, I think, like a standard version. Um, but this one is just above and beyond anything that I've seen from companies lately. Uh, it's really special. So I wanted to share it with you guys. I wanted to get you some 4K video so we can really take a closer look at it. I'm gonna go ahead and focus the camera down and we're gonna do a straight unboxing of what's inside this little crate. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so looking down here from your perspective, we can see the SwiftTech logo and the SwiftTech.com on top of the nice wooden box here. The top fits really nice. It's all felt inside. We're going to go ahead and open it up. I'm going to keep it at your perspective so you can get an idea of what's inside. Let's move that down there. The first thing we have here is the water block in the foam. It's got two little points here that we can pull it right out. Nice foam inlay, and of course, what everybody loves to see. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, this was a special one for me. We can see PC here, Precision Computing. Mark, I got number five. This is the Chrome with the blue inlay and the Chrome Swift Tech logo. It's gonna go perfect with my next mod. You can see inside the block here that we have the copper fins, and you can also see down the uh, inside the where the fittings would go here that it's copper. Our base is also copper. And if we remove this, which I'm only gonna remove a portion of it so I can press it back down, it's a perfect mirror finish copper. So that's really nice from Swift Tech. If I can actually It's a perfect mirror finish copper from Swift Tech. So what I usually do on these is take a razor blade, just a standard razor blade, flat edge, and put it on the base to see how true and how flat it is. And we hold it up, we can see any light through. You won't be able to see this in the video, but reasonably enough, it's very flat. So a little bit of thermal paste is all you'll need for this application. Go ahead and put that back down, and we're gonna put the block right here in the lid, set it to the side. Let's see what's underneath here. We take out this bit of foam padding and we have Intel all. So this is our screws to hold down our for our Intel mount. What do we have here? Here's our Intel LGA 2011, uh, which will also work with 2011 V3. Uh, these would be to hold the back plate onto the motherboard or to screw into the back plate, I should say, and come up through the motherboard, and then we would use these Intel all screws to hold the water block down. Next, we have our AMD screws that are screws and fittings and socket on the top there. Get this out of the way for a minute. And then we have our Intel LGA 11.5X uh, hold down. So these again would screw into our back plate 
and then these Intel screws would screw down onto that to hold our water block down. Of course, the infamous SwiftTech Tim Mate uh, thermal paste. This is actually my favorite thermal paste to use. It has been for a very long time uh, since the OCZ freeze went away and we can't find it anymore. Uh, SwiftTech has had this, this Tim Mate out for a long time and I really like it. Great temperatures, no burn in time. Uh, it's a really great thermal paste. Uh, here we do have uh, some fittings or washers, I just I should say, and small screws in that bag. And then we have our back plate. We have our Intel back plate here for our 11.5X socket. And of course, this is for uh, our AMD applications. As we can see, uh, this would. As we can see, this would be used for our AMD applications. So we'll set those off to the side there with our AMD backplate. The next thing we want to look at here is our cables that are included. And if we can open up the little baggie here. What we're going to find here, this will look familiar if you're familiar with SwiftTech products. Again, your little screws. This would be to hold this in place. Uh, if you made some screws in a case uh, or some holes in a case uh, to mount this. Uh, it's got your SATA power connector and then this four pin would go to your motherboard header and that would control your number one spot here and then the rest of these would be adjustable. Um, there's lighting options and things like that so all of your Swift Tech products, GPU blocks, etc. can plug into this lighting controller and you can run all of those products. You can see our water block here has a three pin header on it that plugs directly into this but you can we can see how short this is very short cable only about uh, maybe one two three three and a half four inches long so that's not even going to reach around our motherboard how are we going to hide it well swift tech has provided us with for those users that want to keep this uh the little the wiring really close we can plug it right in otherwise they provided us with this extension cable this extension cable will plug directly into our cpu uh, block wiring and then this will run off and plug into our controller in which we can control everything. Again, these red and black plugs here are just basically covering over uh, four pin headers for fans and other accessories uh, that work with other Swift Tech products. The red is for our, our main control there. And the rest of these would be for uh, similar products like GPU block and CPU water block uh, lighting accessories. So if we go back to the CPU block here, um, just to look at this thing, it's just outstanding. Um, not just in looks, I mean, just from what I can see, I have very good eyesight. And from what I can see through this little clear window here, down to the micro channels, there are so many micro channels. I'm not sure how well the camera is going to pick that up, but there are so many micro channels. So our water is going to come into this socket or into this port. It's going to run through these micro channels and it's going to come out of this one. So it's going to be maximum heat dissipation from your CPU uh, with this water block. Again, that copper base, we can see that there. So of course our top is probably chrome plated nickel or nickel plated. Um, but our base where our fluid is going to be running through is all copper. The copper micro channels copper direct base to your CPU. So it's gonna pick up that direct heat. It's the most contact to bring to those micro channels in your water block. I don't wanna say that it's gonna perform excellent um, because I can't say that off the top of my head, but from the design of the block, it surely looks that way. There was a lot of thought process that was put into this and uh, I really appreciate that. And it's a great product from Swift Tech. Um, they've always been above and beyond and uh, so this one is just bringing them back to where they're where they've been all throughout the years with that being said we've seen our unboxing we'll put all our screws back underneath here and uh, let's get some final thoughts and see what you guys think in the comments below stay tuned
So what are my final thoughts on uh, this SwiftTech SKF Air Boom Series water block? Um, I'll just say this. You don't take the time and the energy to put all of this thought into product packaging. Okay, this great wooden box, this felt bag that the wooden box is hidden inside, um, and the design of this water block if you didn't have an outstanding product. So, I'm going to test it. I'm going to use it in my next mod. Um, I do have faith in Swift Tech. I've been using their products for a long time. Um, and their CPU blocks were always my go-to because they just outperformed the competition. May it be ever so slightly, but they did. And so it's always been something that I've used. It's always been something that I've had faith in. This block, it, it's the aesthetics. It's been a long time, like I said, since something has really blown me away, but the aesthetics of this block are outstanding. So if it performs with its pure copper base, that's just gonna take it to another level. Um, I really can't thank Swift Tech enough for sending me this block number five of their SKF Heirloom series. It's really outstanding. Um, I really look forward to using this in my next mod. It's gonna match perfectly. Um, it's fully customizable. The color of the Swift Tech logo here, the inset color, this base color, rose gold is an option. I mean, if you're building a computer for your girlfriend or having one built or you want to build one, you know, they, they love that stuff. So, so many options available that it's just bar none. Um, I haven't seen something this customizable in a long time that hopefully is going to perform really well. Thanks for tuning into this video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys liked this water block. I'm going to put some links down below so you guys can go follow Swift Tech. Uh, make sure you click the subscribe button down below so you can continue to get great videos from me. The thumbs up is right over here. Give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, if you'd like any more information, please feel free to ask down below in the comments and I will do my best to answer any of your questions. I will reach out to Swift Tech if I have to to get any more information for you guys. Until the next video, mod on.